I'm breaking out the Gauntlet 30 today. The plan for this video is to split some playing cards in half. We're gonna start off at 35 yards with the Gauntlet 30. Then we're gonna step it up to 70. We are gonna be using these Griffin Boat Tail Slugs today. We're gonna speed through the misses, but I wanna keep them in there because that's just how I roll. Let's get started. The cameras are set up. The card is in place. The Gauntlet is set it in. I did that off camera. All that's left to do is split this card in half. So let's get on our way. I have no idea how I thought I was gonna be able to do this at 70 because I can barely see it here. Let me just see where I am on paper right now. Dead on. I feel like I need to aim just a little bit more left. If I can pull this off at 70, that'd be absolutely bonkers. Well, I guess if I could pull it off here, that'd be kind of cool too. I think what I'm gonna do at 70 is keep a target behind it just so I can see where I'm hitting behind the actual card. I feel like I just need to go a hair left still. I may actually slide my target stands over. I, I kind of really do want to see where I'm hitting behind it. There is some wind. That should have been perfect. All right, last shot. Then I'm gonna put the target stand behind it. All right, one more shot. Then the target stand. One more. I saw that go by. I pulled it a little bit to the left. And it was just a hair left, but it was dead on. I can't believe that did not split it in half. Okay, I'm gonna top off real quick. Then I'm gonna put the target stand behind it. All right, let's see if this helps me out. Fresh top off. Target stand behind it to see where my misses go. If I get this in the first try, that'd be insane. And I'd laugh. One to the left. If I hit the same spot, we're good. Last shot that I'm gonna top off. 70 might have been an insane suggestion for me. I'm gonna aim back on the paper and just see where I'm hitting. Every time I hit on the paper, it's exactly where I'm hitting, but I cannot hit this card. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. I got it, finally. All right, 70 yards, here we come. This video might be a lot longer than I was planning. All right, let's wrap things up. There's a split card. I'm pretty sure that little chunk missing was the piece that I thought I saw that I hit. That has to be what that was. We are tethered now, so I don't have to bother with refilling every, you know, 10 shots or so. Let's go for this. Let's see if I can do this within like 100 shots. I hope it's much sooner than that because I don't feel like editing all that out. You have got to be shitting me. All right. I'm not even messing with you. That was the first shot. <laughs> what the hell? That was insane. I gotta go down there and see this. No joke, that was the first shot. I am not kidding you. I sighted in on some steals down there before I took that shot. But I can't believe I actually made it in one. The thing that really did help me though, I wasn't even trying to do this. I just put the target behind it. I don't think you could see it from the camera angle I have down there, but the card was standing straight up and the line matched the middle. So I had a perfect straight line that I could see right down there. I just aimed for it and took my shot and that actually connected the first round. I'm not kidding when I say this. These Griffin bow tails have to be the best ammo for this gauntlet. It is incredible how accurate this is. 
Now, if I had that target behind the card at 35 yards to start with, I think that would have been much easier. What happened was I think the scope was just off a hair and that's all it takes, obviously. You're shooting a playing card from the side, so. Yeah, that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> See ya.